We also have a health alert. There's been a sharp increase in Tennessee's flu activity. Now, health officials are bracing for what could be one of the worst flu seasons in more than a decade. Neil Warren has a look at today's updated CDC map. If it hasn't happened already at your house, there's a good chance it's happened at your job or somewhere you frequent, like a grocery store. You've come across someone who's already had the flu this season. It's just the first week of November. Today, the CDC updating its nationwide map and already struggling Tennessee makes a large jump going from the top of the high category all the way up to the top of the very high category. Vaccination obviously has been what we've been preaching for a while to help protect folks. Uh, and it's, it's still the best protection that we have. But with an early and hard hitting launch to this flu season, many haven't headed out to get their flu shot. We're used to seeing a ramp up in cases after the holidays, usually around January. This time, though, it's an early arrival, and the fear is it could be the unwanted gift that keeps on giving. I think respiratory viruses are probably the big risk, the big um, um, uh, exposure that you get when you go to holiday parties and hang around family and that sort of stuff at the holidays. Uh, you know, respiratory viruses spread by you know, aerosolized um, secretions. So doctors urge you, wash your hands, get your vaccination, and stay home if you're sick. Maybe, just maybe that will slow the spread even just a little bit. Neil Orn, News 2. Neil, thank you. With RSV and COVID out there, some people are confused about actual flu symptoms. So here's what you need to watch out for. A fever or feeling feverish with chills, Plus a cough, sore throat, runny nose, muscle aches, headaches, and fatigue. And some people, especially children, may have digestive issues as well.